Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just Be With Mahesh. Sincere apologies, I was not able to do videos for a few weeks. Uh, so uh, I thought let's get started again with the most uh, popular playlist which I personally think Think and Design in GCP. So in uh, today's video in Think and Design uh, in GCP, the video series, the question is something like this. So I have created various GCP resources like Compute Engine, Google Cloud Storage Bucket, BigQuery data set. Uh, in a development GCP uh, project all via web console. So I've just used my console GUI and created it. Now the customer wants uh, to use Terraform to provision all these resources, Google Cloud Storage, BigQuery, uh, Compute Engine, uh, the VPC, everything in staging and production environment. Uh, it has to be via Terraform. They don't want it to be done via uh, a web console or using G Cloud command. And as usual, the customer's requirement is always they want this to be done quickly. So how can you do this is a question. So if you have a solution, pause the video, think about the thing, uh, solution, and let me know the uh, possible solution in the comment section. And as usual, I have a possible solution, may not be the, the best one, a possible solution. So let me show that solution. Let's get started. So before I proceed with the solution, uh, the entire uh, video, uh, the reason I did this video was because of this post from uh, Raffle, uh, a Googler, customer engineer in uh, Google Cloud. So where there was a post which uh, Raffle had posted today. So do you create uh, resources in Google Cloud via G Cloud command or console, but want to turn it into Terraform? So this was the one which uh, motivated me to do the video. So there is a new feature called as a resource config bulk export using which I can easily generate a Terraform script. So I just did quick research on it and I was able to get, I also have a beta version of it. So this is the command which we are going to use folks. So G cloud beta resource config bulk export and I can mention uh, what is the format I want. The, the resource format I can get it in Kubernetes resource model KRM. I have not explored that. Or you can get something in uh, the Terraform form. So you just mention the format. You should be able to get a Terraform code. So, and they have some few code examples. We are going to use that only. So this is the one G Cloud Beta resource config bulk export mention the project ID or you want to be at a folder level or at an org level it's your choice mention the path and basically uh, get this the format is Terraform or specifically if you have lots of resource and you're interested in only getting a Terraform equivalent for a Google Cloud storage bucket and for a virtual machine you can use this com uh, comment so that's what we are going to do now Again, there was a hint just following the post. Somebody asked, does it work for an existing infra? Uh, Raffel uh, mentioned, yes, you can do it by turning on asset API. So we are going to use this hint and try to see whether this is going to work or not. Okay, so let's switch to our console. All right, we are in our GCP console. So uh, this is a, a new project which I have created which has some Google Cloud storage bucket, uh, BigQuery and as usual the default VPC. All those things are there. Some data flow stuffs are there. Uh, data flow pups, uh, uh, BigQuery, Google Cloud storage. Basically I was doing some uh, streaming analytics uh, demonstration. So that is what is there in this project. So let's try to see whether we can generate the uh, the Terraform equivalent of it. So as mentioned in the LinkedIn post, so I'm just going to go to APIs and make sure that asset API, cloud asset API is enabled. So if I just search for asset, I should be able to get cloud asset API. So this API is basically for managing the history and the inventory of cloud resources. So it's not enabled. I'm going to enable it. Once I enable it, uh, this entire process of getting a Terraform equivalent is, has to be done in a G Cloud command. So I'm going to launch my cloud shell. So let's just wait for this. And I'm not going to pause this video because it's a new stuff. So let me not pause it and uh, uh, show. So I'll let me show you everything without pausing it. So the API is enabled. Let me come back to the home screen and I have my cloud shell ready. Uh, 
I don't have anything. So this is the only thing which I have. So I'm just going to create a folder called as Terraform uh, Complete. This is one thing uh, where I'm going to export everything, whatever there is in my uh, project. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the stuff which was there in the, this thing. So the path which I'm going to mention is this one. And instead of folder, I'm going to mention it as project. Project and I need to mention my project ID. So because I'm in cloud shell, I can use this environment variable dev shell underscore project ID. Uh, that's it. Let's see whether this command works or does it pop up some uh, error. If it comes up, we'll try to fix it. So hit enter, authorize. And it says uh, you need to install something called as config connector. Never heard of it. Uh, and it throws an error that this is not, uh, I don't have this uh, connector installed and I'm doing it in my cloud shell. So what I'm going to do is basically do control C just copy this command and install it. And most of us who are watching this video, we know uh, Cloud Shell is an ephemeral virtual machine. So the system wide changes are not going to be there. But at least for now, for my command to execute uh, the resource uh, import uh, option to work, I'm installing the connector. Good. The connector is installed. Now rerun this command. So hoping for the best, hit enter. So it is exporting the resources. Beautiful. So it's exporting the resources to make it see whether it's really working. I'm just going to put a tab and see, just jump into that uh, new tab and see what's getting exported. So if I just go to my Terraform complete, put LS, nothing has come up yet. So we have to wait for a minute or so is what I feel. So let's just wait for a minute. So if I put watch ls, okay, files are coming up folks. You see that files are getting generated, good amount of files. So there's some randomness in that file name. So you have to go look into those YAML files, then only you may get some idea, uh, but looks like it is getting exported. Awesome. So let's just wait for a couple of minutes for it to come up. Uh, by the time this comes up, so if you are interested to look into some of the content, we can just do that. We can just do that. So lots of files. I'm just going to take the first file, type edit, and see what is this Terraform, uh, this thing all about? What is this uh, Terraform script all about doing? So let me just open up my editor to see the content. So you can use any editor of your choice, Vim, Nano, uh, or Google Cloud uh, Shells editor. So this is basically about the big query data set. So good. So this is about the this thing. So if you are interested, you can look further details of it. So good. Now if I just go back, so it's still exporting. So it was only having a very minimal amount of stuffs, uh, but it's still exporting. So by the time this comes, let me use the last one and see what's it. Uh, that's it. Uh, this is something about a sub network. So this is about a sub network. It is trying to show you that. So that's good. Let me just go back to the terminal and see whether it has done it. Okay, looks like it's going to take time. So what we can do is, I'm just going to do something like this. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. I'm just going to create one more folder. Terraform, only storage. Storage, BQ. Only this one, I want nothing else. So the folder is created. Now, let me run this command, which uh, which we can use here, where we can mention specifically the resource. So only two resources we want to export. The path which we wanted to use is this one. And let me get the command to put the specific resource. The command to put the specific resource is something like this. Storage bucket and compute engine if you want a uh, compute engine or BigQuery. So I can just get uh, for 
or big query it should be big query dot google apis dot com slash data set something like this or of course let me just try with only this one copy this this is an additional uh, specifier which i have to mention i'm back in the the cloud shell let me mention this parameter also so what i'm doing uh, the project id path the uh, the format which i want is terraform and specifically i want only two resource uh, buckets and vms so hit enter so it's going to be little quick here done only one because i don't have a virtual machine only the bucket details came up so you want to look into the details let's just go there uh, storage bq so if i just use edit So I have my uh, bucket details. I have my bucket details, which is completely mentioned. So I can use this as my template to quickly create a Terraform equivalent of it. It's already there. So few things you just need to modify, uh, maybe something like the name you add it and you should be able to get it. So almost like the skeleton with a reverse engineering, we are able to do this. So I was really happy to see that it was really working well okay totally 83 resources i have is what has been exported and now if you want just go inside this folder complete you will see 83 uh, yaml files i'm just going to, to pick a random one and see what is it all about i get a complete picture so this is about some sub network so sub network for each resource is going to create it so a very cool feature right i was really uh, impressed with this option so i can use i don't need to go uh, look for the terraform equivalent every time so i already have i just provision something via console or g cloud and use this command effectively and i should be able to basically generate uh, the terraform equivalent of it so i was really happy uh, Hope uh, you felt this was a, a, go a good feature and this is currently in beta. Uh, so please expect uh, some glitches. There could be few glitches here, here and there. Uh, once it becomes generally available, definitely it's going to work very well is what I feel. So the solution which I had is using G Cloud Beta resource config bulk export. If I use this, I should be able to get a Terraform equivalent of it. I can quickly build a complete Terraform script um, and I should be able to fulfill the customer's requirement. So that's the video which I wanted to share today, folks. Hope you like the video. And if you have a better solution uh, for the same thing, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, thank you for watching.